welcome to Dushwine, to Dushwine Looks at the American Tier 5 Premium Battleship, the USS Texas. I'm Dushwine, and we're, we're looking at the ship in World Warships today. We're looking at the USS Texas, a New York class battleship. Well, Nether class dreadnought. That was later called a battleship because you just start calling it the battleships no matter what. But yes, this was one of the less dreadnoughts. It served in both World Wars. Uh, in the Atlantic, uh, in World War One, I'm not quite sure what it did, but I know in Perfect in World War Two, it served as a, a an escort for transports, as well as it helped out in the invasion of D-Day. So yeah, uh, it was it was launched in it was launched in uh, May 2012, May 1912, and was decommissioned in or actually was and was commissioned in. 12th of March, 12th of March, uh, 1914, and decommissioned in the 21st of April, 1948. So yeah, and it, it, and this was actually the first museum ship and the first natural landmark to be given to a, to, to, to be given to a museum to give to be given to a museum ship. I do apologize. I, I'm not feeling well tonight. Uh, I, I slept 25 hours, which is the second time I've ever done so that I know of. So, um, yeah, and I just I haven't been feeling well at all. Uh, actually, as I redo this intro, I don't even know how many times ago I've just been feeling bad. So if I stop talking for a second, uh, it's because I'm feeling bad. Not quite sure, I'm not quite sure to explain how I feel bad, but I do feel bad. Uh, but anyway, let's continue. Now, now, like I said, this is a New York-class battleship. It is the second New York-class dreadnought. It's the second of its kind, and it is the second New uh, and it is the second uh, New York class, uh, Dreadnought. Um, so, yeah, I think second and final, I believe. So, that's the thing, is, it's a New York class Dreadnought. And, the thing is, there are New York class Dreadnoughts, and I'm about to get one as well. As you can see. However, there are some differences between the two ships. Actually, there. Actually, let's. Uh, now, unfortunately, I can't just go back and forth as I don't have the as I don't have the New York. I can't just have it up at all times. I have to go back and forth like this. Um, and I think the camera resets too. No, it doesn't. Actually, yeah, it does. But barely, barely so slightly. But as you can see, the, since the USS Texas is, you know, this is the World War Two out, and this is the War of Two, um, um, which are fit. So. So as you can see, it has many more guns. I think we just know to do this. Yeah, World War is a weird system. I'm pretty sure. If, I mean, at least there's previews. I mean, um, World Tanks is getting previews, but it's not gonna be the best. But well, there we go. Yeah, but as you can see, the New York has lots of more. Uh, I mean, the Texas has lot, has a lot more AA guns. There's also a smaller difference, uh, but it actually matters a little bit more. It's the fact that it's rare turrets on or in different spots. I think. Yeah, arrow so slightly there in different spots. Again, I wish I could just go back and forth and just compare the ships that way, but that's not gonna happen, is it? Actually, I don't know any. Uh, I don't know any other tier five ships though. Uh, tier five, ba uh, tier five battleships I can easily look at. But yeah, give it into the back. Yeah, you see, see um, actually. I think that's like further back, and then these are also further back. I wish I could just go back and forth and compare, but you can't, unfortunately. Uh, but this is not the comparison part. I'm just showing you the difference between. I'm just showing showing you the difference between the USS New York and its cream cap part of Texas. As you can see, yeah. So it's slightly different, but it is different enough to be unique. And I don't get premium ships. I don't get well. I don't get premium stuff. Just to get premium stuff, like some people do. I don't get them. Uh, I, I, you know, like in World Tanks, I don't have a Chinu Kai because I will be getting a Chinu eventually, and they're basically the same thing. Um, but yeah, so I was worried about the Texas, whether it was just in New York, just different. And there's a small difference. It both has more air guns, which is probably the most air guns in any battleship in the game, comparatively to tiers. Um, as you know, the Texas just says no. The Texas just says, the, the New York has just no more mounts. 
Uh, as well as the guns are different on New York, so it's good enough for me to actually get. Now, let's get to battle. Actually, actually, I can go. Actually, no, not battle yet. Not battle yet. Not battle yet. Makes to remind myself. Alright, so if I go, how does tablets work? Alright, is it. I. Tablets. Yeah, I'm used to using the Wii U, and tablets are definitely a downgrade for me. Uh, it's a uh, Nixbook 7. I don't. I, I don't blame the Nixbook 7 itself. I blame just tablets in general and how they work. But yes, you can get the. You can get the USS New York in three flavors. Come on. Touch trains. I do not use the styluses. Um. There we go. That was being weird. And also, there's now that the World Warship site is weird too. Which that's the reason why I'm using a tablet is because the World Warship site only likes tablets. Doesn't like the Wii U at all. But anyway, so your Studio Six will be on sale for the first time until May second. I mean. Until May 16th, 2016, it was first, it was first, uh, put on sale the 2nd of May, um, and I'm actually recording this on the 9th, 9th of May. So the reason, you may be asking why I'm doing it, well, for one, I've been feeling good last time I tried to record this, I didn't feel good either, and also, last time, I, and the time before I recorded that, uh, time, the time before that, the first time I went to record, all Warship servers were down, so I couldn't do that either, but we're here now. So let's hope everything turns out right. Now the USS Texas, all by itself, well by itself in a garage lot, is twenty-five dollars ninety-nine cents US. It also comes as it also can be. It's also in a bundle of the USS Texas Loaded for twenty-eight dollars ninety-nine cents. If you only get one of them at a time, or you can only get one of them. Period. That comes with the USS Texas and artillery plotting room, which is a module which I never mess with. Right? No. Exterior. Oh. Wait, wait. See, I never messed with these things, so I don't know where they are. Oh, upgrades, there we go. Oh, yes, as you can see, it comes with, uh, this one comes with a totally plotting room, which is this one. You have to put them on there, you, you have to put, to put them on there yourself, which is interesting, which, actually, that's a good thing. I'll show the ship standard, and then we'll go and do the upgrades. So, it comes with one of these, uh, and saving the, the premium account time. It's also a $30 one, uh, again, limited to just one time, which comes with all that, plus, uh, main engine room modification, which is... Oh, that's the artillery plotting room right there. Alright, then, never mind. Artillery plotting room, then... This one, propulsion modification. As well as 25 of the flags I'm about to mention, each, each package. Now you can guess which ones I have because they almost have flags. Uh, these, India Delta, these, India Bravo, India Bravo, Terror 3, and Mike Yankee, Success, or Success, I think, something like that. The, the S's and, the I's and X's and, the, and S's are making it kind of strongly for me to say it. And as well as, instead of just having 7 days of premium count time, it has 30. Now, I'd recommend this pack, the most expensive one, because it is a much better deal. For five more dollars, you get all that, as opposed to just getting a garage slot, or a port slot. So yeah, that is, it definitely is worth the, uh, the extra five dollars, I would say. Unless, of course, you really just want the ship, then yeah, just get the ship. But, if you want the extra stuff like the premium time, and the equipment, the modifications, I guess, because they're called equipment in wolf tanks, and um, I'm go ahead and just get a standard one. All right. Now I'm using Shadow Play because perhaps stop working for me. The video Shadow Play, by the way, which comes with the video gra graphics card. Um. Okay, we're loading in. That's good. I mean, NVIDIA is much nicer on stuff than, uh, than perhaps is, so, yeah, loading in is much easier. And plus, they updated the game anyway. Updated the, uh, folders. And it was getting metal. Let's see how many people used in Texas is. Actually, I'm the only one right now. Okay. But I do apologize for not... Oh, hello. 
I, I do apologize for not doing a video earlier again because there is reasons like A was this before the games. B uh when I did that time I recorded the first time their servers were down. And C I was I was I haven't been feeling well the last couple of times I recorded. No, the last couple of times I tried recording either. Alright, well, um what are we going up against? Sure, let's uh, load on let's load AP and we are turning our turrets this way. Okay, full speed forward. Alright, oh wow. Can't help you over there. Affirmative too. Yeah, let's get over here. I'm really looking at the performance of the uh, Texas so far. Yeah, my guns are facing. Yeah, okay, my guns are facing the right direction. I'm going over here to support. The, I'm going over here to support these guys, as you as you can see. Most of my ter well, most of the team's going that way. Roger, proceeding to assist you. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Get contacts on the side we are in. Uh, what is that cruiser? I'm looking to use the six so far though. Feels really good. I mean, the turret's move fast enough. Um, it has really good maneuverability, which we can check out right here actually. Yeah, really good maneuverability compared to what the ones I'm used to, which are the Wyoming's. Yeah. Really, really maneuverable. I mean, it's slow, but yes, yeah, battleships are nearly starting fast since the World War II, and even then, they really didn't get starting. They really didn't start getting fast until the Iowa, or the I, I was, or the Iowa series, anyway, like the North Carolina. But then again, that was more. Oh, ooh, aircraft! Oh, what? Oh, but where are the things? We don't care. I don't think we don't care anyway. How that? What's the propulsion thing do? I know I showed it off, so you guys know if you were, if you looked at the screen and read it, but I don't. Oh, do we got trust in this guy? Oh, we kind of do if we could if we could have caught him. Man, look how fast those guns are moving. Now the cool thing about the U.S. is Texas over New York's is uh, New York's could barely get their uh, could barely get their middle gun to point that way, uh, or you can fire all you can they barely can get their um, central gun to fire unless of course you were doing full uh, unless of course you were full uh, fully horizontal to the enemy like that. However, New York is special, or the Texas is special. Like and its middle gun is placed further back, so it can actually fire forward more easily. All right, Volgun's fire forward. Of course, they can't fire backwards as easily, but still. Okay, that guy's bugging out. Uh, do we lose our ships over there? Actually, I think we did. We do. I see their dead marks. Now we're going in. Oh, uh, they're in the building. Yeah, the store friends going back in. Oh, uh, this guy's gonna be good. This guy's gonna get surprised. 
Alright, where the fuck? We're going in. We have to get aggressive. They are, they're on the flag. Come on. Our, mo our movement is not lining against the target. Yeah, they, there they go. We're going right to the island. Yes. Oh, uh, hello. Prepare to fire! Hold it, hold it. That's what I was kind of waiting for. Fire! Also, the land mass. Dodge. Oh, that's going to suck the you. Oh, hello. Check on that. Oh, we got a bad, we're in a bad, we have to, where is the middle part of the, see now we can get all, we can get all our guns on target except for the last one. What is that? In New Mexico? Look faster! Actually, we need to get moving because of the destroyer I saw. Okay, so now we're doing a full turn. Oh, I'm almost trying to do those torpedoes. Okay, have a look. Oh, we still got a turn. I was hoping to go through the middle between those islands, but that wasn't going to happen. Oh, this is going to suck. Uh, move on to third third speed. Come on, get the guns on target. Guns on target. Guns on target. Guns on target. Fire! Oh, those are the front guns that were on target. Oh, but well, they're still going to hit. And more fire. Yeah, our rear guns are not facing our direction at all. Torpedo support. Uh, oh. Torpedoes astern. Oh, I, they were going after me, but they launched me from the other side of the from, from the other side of the channel. Or at least they're going for the destroyer, which is why. No, it's definitely going after me. Okay, we need the guns point pointing that direction. Full speed, and this is the destroyer. Now we only have six secondaries, and three on each side. So yeah. Uh, it's not gonna work, but we can try. Oh, we're fighting HE. No wonder we were doing that much. Um, what? Oh no, full speed. Prepare. Where'd you come from? I think that was the guy we saw before. Okay, now prepare. Oh yeah. Oh no. Uh, maneuver. Uh, where's our guns? That was full speed! Yeah, I think that's the guy we saw before. Oh no, it's the New Mexico! Or whatever you are. These guys have torpedoes? Uh, yeah, I didn't think I, I. You know, I'm so used to the using my ships I use all the time that I didn't think to uh, switch to uh, HE. Oh, that's German, whatever it is. Let's go in a second. Give me even a second. Ah! There we go. Switching to AP. Uh, yeah, that was a destroyer that we saw pass. Is our destroyer for right now? He's still busy. Come on. Chrono guns are ready. Oh, there he goes. Thank you, whoever did that. Thank you, destroyer. Would be in New Mexico, I think. Here comes the target. Guns are ready, but I think we're not gonna make. I don't think we're gonna clear the island. And here, and here's the fact that we can have all our guns pointed in the front. Yeah, let's get after this guy. Basta. I mean, I don't mind speed. It just gives you more time to think. But again, if. Well, this is probably being slow is the fact that I need to get over there now, but I can't. I see what angle I need to have all my guns on target. Ah, uh, there's that destroyer. Where is this guy? Oh, no. I thought he left. I thought we would be able to see him. That's what I thought. Uh, he's one of those destroyers that can launch torpedoes from out, from, out the, from outside the detectability range. I'm not used to fighting them. Uh.
Okay, I just want to see what this thing looked like well, when, it, when it was capsized, so let's hit... Yeah, let's hit back to port. Well, I really like New York so far. New York. I really do like the uh, Texas so far. Um, although, yeah, I, mean, I like Texas so far. There's nothing more to say. All right, so I'll be right back once it's out of battle. All right, back. So, um, yeah, now let's do some comparisons. Um, comparisons. All right, com comparisons. Uh, fantastic. Um, actually, let's look at the battle first. Uh, then we'll figure out we, what do we compare it to. At the very least, we can compare it to New York. Compare it to the Congo, I think. So, yeah, we got victory, all right. We have 80,327 uh, experience, uh, 27 credits for it. That doesn't really mean much as we had premium. So, what happens if you don't have premium? We'll see how much it earns in a second. Uh, by the way, we got six target hits, one capacitation, three sound farm. And draw. Okay. Oh, is, is this the Texas mission? Yes, it is. All right. It, yeah, the, the ship came with a mission, by the way. This is it. All right. Good score. Yeah, I think our team just killed everything. By a detailed report, it's where we should be able to see how much credits and experience we got without premium. All right. So without premium, we got 53,551 credits. No, no. Look down here. Uh, 34,917 credits because you have to factor in the ship costs and uh, especially into uh, well the premiums that um, the premiums that shows what premiums can do because premiums all are cheaper to operate than other and then their similar tier vehicles are or then their same tier vehicles are anyway on uh, experience we got 1,950 experience good for captains and 58 for experience good for everything not bad and that was for uh, again, where we're only, where the, again, where we were only able to shoot one thing. So, yeah. And anyway, so let's compare, uh, my favorite part of World Warships is comparing. Because you can go back and through menus. There is no, have it here, 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 on the screen. Being all nice and neat, but, no, oh, well, it, it's fine for right now. Alright, so let's find stuff to compare it to. Easiest thing to compare it to, the New York. Next thing to compare it to, uh, uh, well, it's either German or, Jap or Japanese. Uh, the Congo. Actually, it's either um, it's either USA or Jer it's either USA or Japan because those are the only, those are the only ones with uh, with battleships. Uh, uh, Momonks? Are you a cruiser? Actually, yeah, you are. Oh, we found a compared we found someone that you compared to the Murnusk. All right. So, oh, that's a that's a cruiser. Never mind. Uh, it's not a battleship. Alright, so first things first, let's compare it to New York. Uh, this is the hard part, because I got ADD, so I, unless, of course, I remember, unless, of course, I memorize everything I can't, well, it will be memorized. But here's New York. It's five build day 51, uh, with 42,600 hit points. Armor is 19 to 305. Uh, to pay back, to pay protection, damage reduced, 28 to pay protection, flooding risk. 76%, main battery is 65, with five, uh, with five guns, two e or with two each and five turrets, is, and each of them being 256 millimeter, secondary is 16 guns singly, and they're all 125, or 127, and main battery, uh, and main battery firing range of 14.2. Alright, a defense, 17, having, actually, what am I doing? I'm, I need to read the uh, text this first. I, I like it, I've been feeling well. Uh, again, I swapped 25 hours, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the hard part. If it's not in your pre, you can't easily switch between it. By easily, I mean one click, as opposed to click, 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 click. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, let's read off the text first. Now, here's the text has 49,100 hit points. 19 millimeters armor through three, uh, 305. Peer protection damage or to peer protection uh, damage is 31%. To peer protection flooding is 77%. It's a tillery is rated is rated 73. Uh, is rated at 73. Main battery it, 
main barrier consists of five 356 millimeter guns. Or yeah, um, wait, yeah. no. Let me try to read this. Um, okay, there's two, two, six, eight. Oh, there's ten of them. It doesn't say ten anywhere. Fantastic. Okay, it only tells you how many turrets they have. I didn't know that. Alright. So, uh, it has... Yeah, I, I guess it has 10, uh, 356mm uh, guns and in five turrets with two each. Uh, second armament is six, um, singularly, six singularly, uh, situated, or six singularly tur- or just six single, single guns at 127mm each. Um, uh, main f battery firing range is 15.6 kilometers, A guns, 32, nah, sorry, uh, A guns, 32, I guess 32 A, I guess they have 32 A guns, 20 millimeters each, uh, all singular, and then you got 10, I guess 10 guns and that's not it. Is that, do I get every single individual one of these things? One, two. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry. I'm thinking whether or not to just restart the segment. Uh, but sorry, I, I just don't feel well. Uh, and the worst part is I don't know how I don't feel well. I just don't feel well. Uh, so I can't really tell anyone how I feel well. How how bad I feel. So or what, how you get idea. Um. But anyway, so. Okay, I get, yeah, 10 guns mounted in four, mounted in four, 40 millimeters. Moving on to the third one, you got 10 guns, singly mounted, 70, uh, 76, or, or 60, or 76 millimeter to, or 76.2 millimeter. Uh, next one, C is 20.5 knots, turning circle radius is 600 millimeters, where shift time, 14.0. Take penalty by C, 15.5. Take penalty by air, 10.7. Alright, moving on to the USS. Uh, New York, which is its, which is the flagship, or which is the um, first ship of its class. Uh, oh, now we're gonna do it. Now we gotta go through the big thing of how in the world do I compare these two ships? Because this is like the first time ever having to really do this. And I compared the actually, yeah, that's just the first time. It's Saipan. Last time I compared it, it was just Saipan all by itself. Now we can go back and forth like this, but. Yeah, well, this is gonna make challenge. I mean, it would be all that easy if I just had the ship, but I don't right now. Um, all right, so the Texas has more hit points, the same armor. I think is a bigger damage reduction. As well, same flying risk. Artillery is the same. I know that for a fact. See their armament. This has more. Much more, including guns in the rear, which is nice. The AR firing range is less than, the, than Texas. It has less AA guns than Texas, by a lot. Uh, it's slower than Texas. I, I think general radius is the same. Our shift time, um, I gotta check. Oh, yeah, uh, they. Turning single radius is the same. Our shift time is actually. Faster than the Texas. And the kill and the ability by C is 16, which makes it uh, less healthy than Texas. And still, Texas is just flat out better. Um, in every way, matchbox, except it has less AR, A, I mean, it has less secondary guns. Like, these are all, these are all the secondary guns, where, where uh, whereas on New York, you have secondary guns like that there, uh, and here as well. Which is interesting. I'm pretty, I guess maybe if it works the same way as the Wyoming's do, then maybe the USS New York has uh, has less has less has less secondary armaments if you upgrade it to a more modern hull like the Texas has. Because the Texas, because New York, the Wyoming's are the same way. Um, if you upgrade Wyoming's hull, you get rid of all its rear guns and a lot of its secondary guns. Um, and in the beta, you actually got rid- In beta, the Wyoming actually got out the back, you got rid of that too. 
Uh, and maybe add guns in the front as well they get rid of, but actually we can check it out. Gun Maiden. Actually, no, we can't. That costs experience, and I don't have that right now. So, yeah, uh, now let's move on to the Congo, which is going to be interesting. Now, this, it's its other direct competitor, the Congo. Now, Congo, uh, I think more health has less armor, uh, has less guns, however, oh, yeah, but I think they're bigger. Actually, no, they're the same. Um, uh, has less a defense. Mobility is more mobile than the, uh, it has higher speed than the te Texas. We're gonna see how many clicks I have to do. It's thankful I dropped this in all the other games. Or else it'd be a big hassle. Actually, it's actually it's a bigger turning radius. That means it's less maneuverable. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bigger that number. Okay, minimum distance required for the ship to turn. Yeah, yeah, I think the bigger that number is the well, the bigger the turning. For shift time, 17.2, which is... Oh, that which is worse than the Texas. So the Texas is, has more guns. They're all the same size. Um, it's faster. It's more, actually just more, more movable in, in just every sense. But that was the Congo. That was, that was, that's where it was last. Uh, concealment. Texas is less conceal. Uh, is less stealthy, which would make sense. Um, what about the artillery range? How about the uh, main gun range? Texas has much less main gun range. Yeah. So if you're in a Congo, keep it. Keep the Texas at range. And keep the Texas and keep the Texas at at range because one, you can't shoot you at that range. Two, you might not even see you at that range. So, yeah, I mean, people just generally don't like the Congo. I think I know. Do they like the Congo? Or do they not like the other one? The if you want, well, people might not like the Miyogi. People actually might like the Congo. So yeah. But anyway, I think we have time for one more game. So let's do it. Actually, no, 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 let's do upgrades first. Show you if, show you if it was, uh, show you if they're really worth your money. I mean, the premium is. The premium is definitely worth your money. Um. So you're playing room. Let's find that. And pull, and pull, put in the, pull, 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 modification. All right. Also, let's actually, uh, you know, while we're upgrading our stuff, let's get increase it, increase, decrease for a long time. Actually, think about the Texas. It since it has only six secondary guns, one in each side. You actually, your main guns will do a whole lot. We'll need your actually your main guns will have to do a whole lot of work on destroyers so having the ability to switch between H AP and HE faster is actually a good idea which are all good things that'd be good to have as well actually I don't think I have to worry about the reloading time on the uh, Texas as much as it's fine should just get reload time when it's sw switched export loader do we need to get those? Yeah, these are great on all battleships. Unless, of course, your battleship has a really fast certification. Entirely possible. And you got basics of survivability, uh, which decreases time repair and fire, and fire, fire, fire extinguishing and recovery from flooding, which is good. So, on fire extinguishing, as you might not always want to use a, uh, a repair ability on that. So, yeah, 